The 20th annual Ford Arts Beats and Eats Festival kicks off this upcoming Friday. Of course, there's going to be restaurants, music, and artwork. And today, our own Coco McAvoy got a look at how a few of these artists are preparing for those festivities in downtown Royal Oak. We're just days away from the Ford Arts Beats and Eats, which is very exciting. But today, we are highlighting one of the festival's programs, Meters Made Beautiful. I'm having a lot of fun. That's the best thing. And I'm next to Hopcat, which is great. Kyle Rise Irving is one of the artists beautifying the parking meters in downtown Royal Oak. His vision? Like a big bubbly bath, you know, so because then people won't have to hate paying the meter so much. Each artist takes a day to carefully craft masterpieces. Virginia Lamont Nagley is promoting autism awareness on her meter. The colors represent the different variations of autism. The program is a collaboration between Arts Beats and Eats and the City of Royal Oak Commission for the Arts. Last year we did about 70 and then this year we're doing about another 40 more. So we're going to have over 100 of the parking meters in downtown Royal Oak painted. Last year, Alyssa Clash and Alan Ledford, better known as Artsy Fart, took first place in the contest with a whimsical alien creature. And this year it'll be a werewolf. Excited to see how this one turns out today. They believe the best part of the contest is the opportunity itself. It's just amazing that we can come here and that Royal Oak appreciates the arts and wants to promote it. Through each brush stroke, the artists get the chance to bring more color and creativity to downtown Royal Oak, and their artwork will be a part of the landscape for years to come. Making something as drab as, you know, a parking meter more colorful and bright, it makes people look around. It brings more life to the city, and it just it makes everything a little bit more enjoyable. Coco McAvoy, Local 4.